Hi, Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, I feel like something is going on with the Aquarius Collective. Um, this is an additional reading for September. I just was really moved to do a reading for you guys, for us. Um, it's just going to be free flow. Whatever comes up, comes out, okay? So we're going to start with the angel answers. If you have questions out here, here, here are the answers. Angel answers deck. All right? Just whatever pops out, this is what it is. I hope that all of my Aquarians are doing well out there. Um, it's been tough for some of us. Some of us are really going through some real change. Uh, we've been in a funk, in a cycle for a while. Okay. One more. Okay. Remain positive. Yeah. Um, within the next few weeks. Wow. Beautiful. Yes. You're ready. Okay, Aquarius. And then at the bottom of the deck. No need to worry. Absolutely beautiful. I think a lot of my Aquarian people, um, probably a little bit older, uh, I want to say 29 to, you know, 50 or 50 something. Really been doing the work on themselves. Really been, you know, digging deep, doing the inner work. Um, just trying to get to mental physical emotional spiritual clarity and then also trying to manifest what it is they want in their lives uh for of course for themselves and for the people around them um if, now i'm only talking to my high vibrational aquarians if you out there you know doing whatever you do then i'm probably not talking to you and that's okay because you'll have your time Everybody's at, you know, a different place, different cycle. Um, but if you are operating in the highest vibration, the, the, the better you, the enlightened you, whatever that may mean to you. And you know, nobody has to spell that out to you. Um, then, yeah, I am talking to you because you're getting all that you've manifested. Um, it's coming back to you. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for us. I hadn't done a Celtic cross in a while. Um, you've done the work. You've, you've dug deep. You know, you've pinpointed where you went wrong and what you did and what you said and what you didn't say. And, you know, you, you've done the work. And um, a lot of us, a lot of you are reaping the reward of, of really uh, digging deep, getting spiritually, okay? Knight of Pentacles just popped out. So many cards popped up. I'm going to put it back. If it comes back out, then, you know, it's meant to be. So many of us, um, you know, before we start to play the blame game or whatnot, um, you know, you got to pinpoint where you went wrong what you allowed what you didn't allow whatever because um there are no victims you know king of pentacles there are no victims in a situation only volunteers you know what part you played you know what you didn't do what you did do oh nice at the bottom of the deck ace of pentacle aquarius now this could be i mean you know this could be it's foundational so it's got something to do with um you know having some real solid new start that you can build upon now this could be of course um a new business this could be a new home this could be um a new car i mean it could be anything something that is tangible solid and stable this could be getting an engagement ring getting engaged moving in together making a large purchase with someone i mean it could be anything that's what governs the reading so let's let's get into it what um the basis is and what crosses you eight of wands and the three of cups 
So there might be some communication. Uh, rapid communication is not face to face. So email, text message, snail mail, whatever. About maybe a reconciliation. Um, about someone with someone you're dating. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. We don't really want to get into the signs. Just want to get into the energy. Now, this is the reason why all this energy is going on. is because of Ten of Cups. Nice. You wanting your Ten of Cups, your happiness. Um, the highest level of happiness for you. This is the reason why all of this is happening. Okay, in the past, we have the Knight of Cups. We have someone offering love. Now, this could be you, Aquarius. This could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It could be anyone. There was someone wanting to invest emotionally. I'm really feeling like this was Aquarius in the past. Okay. Uh, where you are currently. Wow. It just gets better. The Ace of Cups. New love. New friendship. Uh, being filled with spirit. Uh, being filled with love that radiates to other people around you. Wow. Nice Aquarius. Nice, nice, nice. Um, two new starts, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Uh, your energy, wow. And then the Ace of Swords, victory by way of clarity, truth and clarity. Being completely honest, clear and concise communication here. And it gives you a new start. This is that type of communication that comes in where no one can think the same. No one does the same thing. I mean, if you do, you're just almost insane. You know, it's, it's that saying, um, doing the same thing, expecting different results. That's insane. Not when this type of clarity comes. I mean, you would just have to be downright crazy. Um, external to you or your environment. Wow. The Nine of Cups. Wow, Aquarius. This is beautiful. I'm, okay, I'm going to shut up because we got two more cards. <laughs> um, nice. Wish fulfillment. Someone, okay, what I just heard, you are somebody's wish. You know, um, once again, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They want the Ten of Cups with you or vice versa, or it may be mutual. Um, someone's trying to manifest you in their energy. Okay, hopes and fears. Nice. Page of source, page of one, excuse me. And then some of you may be moving, get a new home. This is a new home also. Page of one. So you get that communication that calls you to action. It may be from a younger fire sign. Doesn't have to be. It could be from someone who dresses well, maybe different culture. Um, someone who's all about action and taking action. The outcome. Wow. The five of swords. You got the... Aquarius, you might have to fight for some of this happiness. Fight for some of this. Um, yeah, fight for fight for some of this. You're going to have to fight something off or fight someone off. Let me clarify that Five of Swords. Lord God, what's the Five of Swords? There, oh, there could be jealousy around you. There's gossip. You're going to have to do some verbal battle with somebody because somebody is jealous. Someone is, um, yeah, somebody's, you got all this newness coming in for you. Somebody's jealous. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra. Of course, doesn't have to be. What is this about, Lord? Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords, please. Two Wands about. You going into a new direction. You were at a crossroads, crossroads, or you are at a crossroads, and you're you're choosing. Now you're taking that action, so, and, and you might have to fight for it. Get to get out of this, or or get out of whatever it was you're in. Or what is the two of wands? This is opposition to. This could be a third party. Doesn't have to be romantic. This could just be an outsider from what you've got going on coming in and causing opposition or um, causing confusion in the midst of. Five of Wands. 
there's so much change for you and there's so many good things for you that people are gossiping about you people are causing petty arguments there might be some inner conflict in regards to how you feel Aquarius um, you're gonna have to do battle that's how good this is this is how how great people see radiating that people want to argue with you people want to physically fight you people want to mentally stagnate you nine of cups but you still get what you want wow eight of swords remain positive because some of you haven't doing all of this this battle with people who are just outright jealous is um causing you to eight of swords eight of swords eight of swords it's causing you to think negatively oh yeah some of you somebody's coming back from the past and they're offering you what you've always wished for but you don't know if they changed or not they could be offering yep two of pentacles you also some of you are just moving and you have options in moving or you're trying to find a home um yeah and, and some of you have two very real options here it could be a air sign gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio you're trying to weigh up your options here who you want a relationship with give me one more yeah Who you want as a husband for some of my uh, female Aquarius? Nine of Swords, yeah. This is, this is taking you to some kind of mental funk. You're definitely moving with the King, the Knight of Wands, and it's and it's happening fast. Somebody's wanting you to move in with them. The Capricorn Virgo Taurus wants reconciliation. Sun, moon, or rising. Someone from your past. They want to work on things. This could be a really spiritual connection. You guys could have been spiritually guided to each other. Um, Aquarius it looks really good there might be some opposition in the outcome because things look so good for you uh, there is even jealousy here let's see let me pull you two butterfly oracle cards and then we're out of here but Aquarius you cannot get a, a, a better reading this is absolutely beautiful you're having victory um, the victory that you've long awaited for okay get two cards Let's see. All right. Okay. Mm. Adult children, body changes. So, for some of you, young adult children or just grown ass kids, um, they may be. There might be some opposition here in regards to that new career. Nice. Yeah. New career change with that Knight of Wands. Grief work new career and grief work some of you may be going into counseling you may be a spiritual counselor we've got the higher hierophant and the high priestess here the ace of cups being filled with spirit being filled with the um the power of empathy and sympathy decisions here lots of decisions Lots of decisions in your outcome. But the two of pentacles, the two of wands. It's like you um, you have so much newness and abundance going on. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, family changes. Definitely somebody's moving home. Someone's exiting the home, moving home. So it's moving out, moving in, kids going back to college. You know, I mean, there's so many different things with this family changes, but it's beautiful. Um, Aquarius, if this resonated with you, 
Okay, I'm just this meditation brings answers that was just peeking out. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. I do know that I'm praying for you, Aquarius. Uh, pray, pray for me as well. Um, go over to my website. Take advantage of the $20 10 minute reading. It's going to be there just for a few days and then I'm going to take it off. Uh, send me an email if you want to uh, request in, in that way. Uh, go over to Instago, Instagram, just to you know get a snapshot of who I am. Please do not request readings in, through Instagram. You will be redirected, um, politely redirected, but redirected. So just go to the outlet that where you can purchase a reading. You know, let's not go to there. Anyhow, Aquarius, it looks really good for you. Um, Keep up the good work. A lot of you are doing a lot of manifestation work. A lot of newness coming in for you. New job, new career, just newness. Um, thank you and take care, guys.